So hello everyone, Psyduck here and welcome in another tutorial on my YouTube channel. So today we will be making an NPC that will be able to use a sword. But before we start, I need to tell you one important thing and what this thing is, is that you need to go to one of my previous tutorials and script an NPC that will follow the player because that is our base today. So if you haven't watched the tutorial, I will leave a link in the description. Go and go through this tutorial at first. So if you've gone through this tutorial, you will have a script that looks like this. So we need to add one more function here. I will call this function swing. And this function will be responsible for swinging the sword. But before we write it, few things we need to set up. So I will go into toolbox and grab a simple sword. Just like that. And I will put the sword into the dummy. So now that we have the sword, we need to make an animation of swinging. And you can do it by using a animation editor. That's the plugin I use. You should have it built in. So let me make a quick animation here. Okay, so now I will set the animation priority to action. That's an important thing you need to do. And then export the animation. I will call it a swinging tutorial. And now very important thing, do not close this window. You need to copy this ID. So if you copy this ID, you can move on. So let me open a properties window and explorer window back. You can delete the anim saves and insert an animation into this script. Oops, there are two animations. Insert an animation here and paste the ID you just copied here. It's loaded as you can see. Okay. So now we can go back to the swing function and let's start by local animation equals NPC humanoid load animation script animation. If you've called your script the other way, you have to mention it here. That's the name of my animation. That's inside the script. Okay. So now let's create a variable called damage equals false. What this variable will be responsible for, it will turn on and when it will be turned on, the script will know that at this time, the sword can give damage to players. You will see. So now let animation play. And actually set the damage to true. That will be easier. So now we need to do something when the animation ends. So animation stopped, connect function whoops okay what we need to do is first thing setting the damage to false and that's pretty good okay so now after the animation is played we tell the script hey when the animation stops set the damage to false he says okay i got it so we can move on and 
set some lines that will be responsible for damaging the player that will touch the sword. So NPC, classic sword. Again, that's a name of your sword. If your sword is named the other way, you need to change it. Handle, touched, connect, function, hit. What hit is, it is the part that touched the sword. So when this function will run, the hit will be the part that touched the sword. And one more thing about handle I used here. Handle is a part that, well, is the whole sword in this case. But you want to have a part that is responsible for touching the player and then giving information about this to script. So if your part here is named the other way, you of course need to change the name here. So yeah. We need to type in if hit parent find first child humanoid. So we just make sure that this is a player or NPC, right? And hit parent is not NPC. So the NPC doesn't kill itself with its own sword. Then hit parent take damage and in the brackets you type in value of damage player is getting from a single hit i will go with 30. you can type in literally any value you want here okay so there is one thing we need to set actually there are two things we need to set in this function first thing is that this part of code launches every time player or NPC touches the sword. So literally when NPC is swinging a sword, player is touching it over 100 times. So we need to set a table that will remember players that has been already damaged and don't damage them second, third time. So I will create a variable here called damaged humanoids and leave it empty and when the player is damaged we need to save his humanoid in this table so damaged humanoids hit parent humanoid equals true and when we are checking if this is a player we need to check if he is not in this table so and damaged humanoids hit parent humanoid equals nil what is wrong here oh humanoid this now it's all right so yeah the second thing we need to set is that we need to well tell the script when the NPC needs to swing, right? Because now it, there is a function, but it's not used anywhere. So where we will use the function is at this place. We need to modify this part of code a little bit. First thing we need to do is lower that number. I will set it to five. It's amount of studs that NPC will swing if it's a distance between him and the player. So it's better low. Okay, now we remove this line and instead we type in swing, just like that. Uh, I have no idea why, but we have to switch these two lines. If we want, the NPC will just hit the player once and then he will stop. So we need to switch those two ifs and we need to remove this part of code and distance is greater than 10. 
Okay, after we are done with that, we need to set a uh, the bounce for the function because when the NPC is getting closer to the player, that means uh, this one. That means when he is less than five studs away from the player, he is swinging. But he's not swinging once; he's swinging literally infinitely. But we want him to swing like every two or three seconds. So we need to create a debounce. You will see how it works. So let me type in local sword debounce equals false. Here we need check. We are checking if sword debounce equals false. Then we are setting it to true. And we are copying the whole function and we are pasting it here. So now we are doing a wait free here and returning the sword debounce to false. And basically what it does when the NPC is swinging it immediately sets sword debounce to true and then if the script wants to swing once again and again and again it just won't work because it's checking if it is false but it's true it will only work after three seconds so now whoops one thing you need to fix is adding a humanoid here yeah I just missed it. So let me play this the game. Please work. The NPC is running. He's hitting us. And he's hitting us again. And again. And yeah, it works. So that's all I wanted to show you today. If you think that he is swinging not fast enough whoa he just killed me and one shot wait something is clearly not right hold on a second Okay, what I figure out is the reason Okay, what I figure out was the reason was that I haven't put a name here so I Can't really explain why it's doing this, but if you don't put a dot name here and here After you get killed first time you will get immediately shut down every other time so now that everything is working, let me play the game. And there's our NPC. I changed the damage value to 20, so it will take a little longer for him to kill me. But we will wait. Okay, I died and then when I spawn again He is punching me again. Okay, it works So yeah, thank you for watching if I helped you remember to like and subscribe and See you in the next video. Goodbye